You know, amazing story. Uh, 81 to 1 is kind of the lead on this story, and that's the ratio of the whacked out corporate media in the ratio between the press that Donald Trump is getting and the press that Bernie Sanders is getting. This, uh, Farron, this is a media that does not want Bernie Sanders to win because media has not, me, think of media as Wall Street. Okay, me, there's no difference between media and Wall Street. People don't get that, though, do they? They don't understand the reason they're working so hard to defeat Bernie Sanders by total blockout, uh, total, total black this out, block that out, don't give him any press, is because they're Wall Street. Isn't that, isn't that the problem? It is, and a lot of people don't realize that the media outlets, you know, as we talked about before, there's you know five or six major corporations that own all of the media outlets in this country, or, or most of the media outlets, and each one of those outlets is made up of a board, and those board members come from Goldman Sachs and Bank of America, uh, you know, across the board, uh, Philip Morris. All of those people are corporate uh, people. They have corporate interests and they sit on the boards of these media companies. So that's why, uh, as you just pointed out, we're getting 81 stories about Donald Trump on national media for every one story that we get about Bernie Sanders. And yeah, Trump's out there saying stupid stuff several times a day. So he is giving them plenty of material, but we're, the media is focusing more on the stupidity and how crazy this is because that's good for ratings. They're not focusing on anything of substance. They're not covering any kind of policy discussions. There's no intelligence left in the corporate media. No, I mean, look, here, here's the comparison. CBS, great example. The home of Ed Morrow, a real journalist, okay? Now, the CBS, when you had the MBAs from Wall Street come in and say CBS really shouldn't be a news source. Anybody who's watching CBS as a news source is just out in la-la land. I mean, just that, that's across the board, NBC, CBS, ABC. If you think you're getting the news there, you are so uninformed, it's just almost pathetic. So, so the MBAs come in and they fire the news departments. That's what they did. And they said, we want to replace news with this thing that they, that they started calling infotainment. That's their word. It's not our word. They said, we're going to replace news with infotainment. We're going to put one news story on for one hour and try to pack everything that's meaningful in there. So in there, they pack all Trump, all Trump, 81 to 1. 81 minutes to one minute is the ratio that they give to this buffoon, this little Hitler fascist, Donald Trump. They give the fascist 81 minute, and then they give this decent, decent, well-qualified candidate one minute. And that's and where we are, isn't it? It is. And you know what? It's not even just Bernie Sanders. Donald Trump alone gets more coverage than all three of the Democratic candidates combined. And, and again, it goes back to there is absolutely no intelligence. It's all about putting eyeballs on the screen. I mean, okay, right now, as you and I are talking, there is another Republican debate happening on CNN. And I guarantee you, just like last time, this is going to be their highest ratings that they've gotten all year long. And that's what they want. They want this stupid, you know, they want 15 people running for president as a Republican because it gives them more airtime when they do these stupid debates where there is no, there are no serious questions asked of these people. They're not holding anyone accountable when they say, Hey, you said uh, you want to ban all Muslims from this country. Do you still stand by that? Those questions aren't being asked. They're asking them to attack one another because that makes for entertaining TV for Americans that have an attention span of about 15 seconds. Or and worse. That's now, all let, they can let, digest. Let, takes me to the next point. Uh, you know, here you've got this media that uh, is saying, oh, my God, where did Cruz and where did Trump come from? They know where they came from. They invented them. And now they're trying to say, oh, golly gee, how horrible that they're racists. How horrible that the white supremacist groups are giving them so much attention. As a matter of fact, the white supremacist groups are following Trump to the point to where it's actually shutting down their networks because they can't take the overload of information. But the point being, you've got this smug, smug corporate media that's saying, oh, well, we're not responsible. You invented them. And when you watch them, when you watch corporate media, rather than something that's meaningful, 
then you're you're simply supporting this whole idea. You're you're empowering this corporation. That's all they are. That is taking control of every facet of our lives. You know, they're dumbing us down with Kim Kardashian so they can give us more dumbed down with politics and Trump, and we can ignore things like climate change. We can ignore things like uh, income disparity. We can ignore things like racism. It is the same thing, and I've said this so many times. It is the same thing that is the trend for fascism. If you look like Ber Berlusconi, great example, out of, out of Italy. Berlusconi here owns the, owned the media. Now, a guy like Berlusconi never would have even been a blimp on the radar had he not owned the media. But he owned the media, and with it brought the most regressive, regressive laws, the most ugly politics to Italy there for, for, for a very long time because he controlled the media. The same thing's happening here. Well, it is. I mean, and if you think back up to about four months ago, Donald Trump was technically an asset of NBC because it wasn't until that time when they decided, okay, we're going to find someone else to host The Apprentice. So before that, while he was still running for president, Donald Trump was NBC's asset. So it was in their best interest to put him out there on TV, get interviews with him, cover stories about him, whether positive or negative. They always t seem to put a positive light on the stupid things he says, but that's because they had a stake in it. And they still do because his name is still attached to The Apprentice. And I know we like to give Fox News a lot of credit for creating Donald Trump. But when you think back, NBC oh, was, is the one that's been putting him on TV for 10 years. Yes. And they are the ones responsible for his, you know, I, I guess you'd call it a rise. But it's really just and, a and now, fall of the public. And, and now, there, have you seen any coverage other than social media? of the fact that Donald Trump's been lying to us all along about being a billionaire. It's a lie. He's not even close to being a billionaire. Uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's what a con man does when a con man wants to go to a bank and, and get more value from that bank than, is, than he should be entitled to. This has been the Donald Trump con. Uh, when you pin him down and say, well, what is this building worth today? It's worth about a third of what he's representing. What is this what is this business that you have out there? What is it worth? It's worth a fraction of what he is saying it's worth in order to get this this appearance that he is this brilliant billionaire who is a wonderful businessman. It is all a lie. The entire thing is a lie. It's a house of cards. The media is not touching that story. And here he is, here he is, uh, some, some assessments are, if, if you take it in the most favorable light, he's worth about $40 million. Well, you know, what's interesting is that Donald Trump has some very severe psychological defects. I mean, it wouldn't take a skilled psychologist to get in there and start, you know, trying to figure out what's wrong because the man can't stop himself from lying, but all of his lies are about himself trying to make himself look better, look bigger, look badder than everyone else that he comes in contact with. And I mean, that's a real problem. Well, the media, but the media, that's the point. I, I can't say this enough. If you are listening to idiot corporate media today, you are missing the stories. I want you to listen in the next few days and see if you see any mention about this, the, the fact that now we found out that, that, uh, that Trump has conned America by convincing them that he's a billionaire. It's a lie. See if corporate media follows it at all. A lot more news we could cover. It's just, uh, we will as this week goes on. Thank you for joining me, Farron. Thank you.